is basically a methodology for reconfiguring the look and feel of both your driver information system and your in-vehicle infotainment system in your vehicle. And what we've done is we've essentially taken our K1 uh, device. Uh, we have one uh, behind the, uh, the cluster uh, here that's rendering this really nice 1920 by 720 resolution panel. And then we have a second K1 device that's down here on our, on our tablet. And this is running a configuration tool that essentially allows you to pick, pick the physical materials that will become part of the gauge that is actually up here in your cluster. Is the idea that the, the, the owner of the car would kind of like change stuff? Yes. Yeah, or so is it for the manufacturer of the car or who's using this? So the idea is really both. So, so first and foremost, it's the way for us to give a methodology to OEMs to customize the actual look and feel of their vehicles and define, you know, sort of custom presets, you know, for the particular types of vehicles that they might have. The second is potentially in the future to give flexibility to the owners of those cars to perhaps customize their own vehicles for their own particular tastes. It feels like a different car maybe a little bit. Exactly. It keeps, it keeps the car current, it keeps the car fresh. It also gives you a way to make it personal to you. Um, the other neat part about it is it also harmonizes this brought-in device that all of us are carrying around with us. You know, our smartphone or perhaps that tablet that we carry in our, in our uh, you know, notebook with us or our, our backpack or whatnot. That device then becomes a tool that we can use to configure our vehicle. It also could be a tool that could be used by auto manufacturers themselves as sort of a point of sale device where you could actually, you know, customize the overall look and feel of your car prior to it even being built. So you could really physically see what these materials might look like ahead of time. So it's for sales, it's for, uh, uh, is this security also in, in it being real? compared to it being not looking real? Is so, it more secure? Um, I don't know what you mean by more secure. People don't get confused by something that might ah, not... Uh, ah. like so, so, yeah, so from a visualization standpoint, you know, displays in vehicles are becoming more and more present, right? So you're seeing the size and resolution of panels included in vehicles today growing. Um, and the need for creating more photorealistic content on those displays has been what's driving us to, to really do this. There is a notion that basically says that if you make this more photorealistic, it becomes something that could be considered more glanceable. So essentially the notion is that it looks like a real accurate material or it looks like a real physically rendered part that then is easier for our brains to actually interpret, which means that it is something that potentially could make it uh, easier for us to really cognitively understand. And not to, you're not to get distracted maybe. Correct. Potentially you could draw that conclusion. Right. And is the idea that there's a K1 here and a K1 there or both running the same K1? Or? Ah, so the idea right now is that there's a K1 in your cluster and that there's a K1 in your brought-in device. Um, two separate devices, yes. You could use any other phone maybe and remotely access the K1 engine in your car? So or? that's another idea. So another idea 